Welcome back to In The Streets TV And today we're going to be talking about Young Dolph, Straight Drop, and Smith So before we get into this video Make sure y'all smash that like button And if y'all not subscribed to this channel Make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on So today was the day that Straight Drop and Smith had a court hearing Which was postponed until tomorrow but as y'all can see on the screen, straight from the district attorney's office, both men has been indicted in the November of local rapper Young Dolph. But I still got some great information for y'all today. Justin Johnson, aka Straight Drop, has an attorney and also was granted $250,000 bond. Now I know y'all might be saying, if he was granted bond, why is he still sitting in jail with a hearing tomorrow? It could be two things. Either he don't have the funds or that bond might be for another charge or that bond might be for another charge on his record. But let's take a look at Justin Johnson, AKA Straight Drop paperwork. So as y'all can see, this is Justin Johnson court paperwork for the Shelby County. Now, if y'all look to the right, y'all will see active attorneys. That is Straight Drop public defender. But as we stroll down, we can see that Straight Drop have seven charges but as we stroll down a little bit more it says bond settings and a judge has approved two hundred and fifty thousand dollar bond but it doesn't stop there as we look at his financial credits while he's in there which is his money is fifty dollars now one thing i don't understand is straight drop not having any money left now this is a piece of his affidavit which has an address on it so we're going to look that address up. Now remember that all this information is public information already. So 685 Uptown Street in Memphis, Tennessee. Let's take a look. It looks like a pretty nice neighborhood. It looks like a pretty nice house. So I don't understand how he doesn't have the $250,000 bond, which he only has to come up with 10% of that. But if we take a look at his neighborhood, the grass is nice. The next house is nice. The area just looks nice. But then again, that might just be an address that he was staying at and using. Could be a female address. Could be his girl address. But let's keep it moving. So we got Smith court paperwork from the Shelby County. Now in this paperwork, he also has an address in it that we're going to look up a little while later. But let's keep going. So as we stroll down, we see charges. Now the charges that he is charged with is theft of property, meaning he is only charged with the car as of now. But let's stroll down to bond settings. So let's see. He has a $1 million bond. So he was already approved the bond also. But let's keep it moving to that address. Let's Google that up. So as y'all can see, that is Smith address. That's the address where Smith actually was staying. So now it's either this house or the blue house. Either way, this neighborhood does not look like the neighborhood straight drop address was in. This neighborhood looks a little ran down. It looks a little bit like Smith was in the struggle. But with that being said, make sure y'all smash that like button. And if y'all not subscribed to this channel, make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on on the court hearing has been postponed until tomorrow so i definitely will keep y'all updated for any new information that come out tomorrow or today we just gonna have to wait and see but with that being said i'm out of here peace